Scorpio, welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today concerning love. This is a past, present, future reading. I'm getting for some of you that you're kind of trying to make plans, but there's delays. You're certainly letting go of the past. Let's see. Past, present, future. For the sign of Scorpio. Past the lovers. Wow, making choices. The Emperor. Two of coins. Mm -hmm. There's definitely... You're standing in your own ground here. The old King of Cups. You are a water sign. Yeah, in the past, there was a very, very strong connection. Could have even possibly been a marriage. But I feel it was very unbalanced. There was, there was a lot of give and take here on your side, but mm, I'm kind of getting the emotionally the person you were connected to was kind of closed off. You were very emotional about this at one time. You opened up. You told this person exactly how you feel. But now, going forward, you're taking control and you are kind of mastering your own emotions. You're learning to understand yourself, in other words. Very, very good energy. I mean, here, the Emperor Aries energy. So this, you could be dealing with fire energy here. I'm picking up at the moment there is some kind of narcissism going on. This is for a small percentage of you. There's certainly a controlling aspect. But with this emperor energy, I feel this is more you taking control. You know, playing by your rules now. You're certainly seeing the big picture. I mean, going forward, uh, you know, you've got the two of pentacles. So is getting your balance. Could well be that you meet somebody. Mm -hmm. You are, you will be faced with the decision next two weeks, couple of months. Pentacle energy is rather slow. I'm kind of getting things are going to get very busy for you in all walks of your life. Very, very good energy. There was a... I, I'm getting that this person you were dealing with or are dealing with now, they kind of see you as an option rather than a, you know, priority. Mm. What I'm getting the energy of... Off this as well as you feel like you're in a cage, you're feeling trapped, you feel it's too restrictive. I am getting though you're standing up for yourself more and you want, you know, reciprocity of this person. I mean, things were happy for a while. But now you're making a stand going forward. You know, nine of cups in the past, you know, there was a lot of contentment, a lot of happiness, but I'm kind of getting, I'm picking up a kind of a Jekyll and Hyde energy here, especially with this person that you are dealing with. This person not only blows hot and cold, it's kind of like they're two different people. They go out as one person and come back as another. For This is for a few of you, not all, but you feel like, kind of like this person's like a Jekyll and Hyde. You can't get stability with them. It's, it's, you feel it's not possible. You are making a stand for yourself, though. And I'm kind of getting that you're sticking to your guns. You're being very, very defensive and you're, dis you're determined to overcome the you know, challenges that lay before you with this person.
you're certainly ready for a fresh start. And I'm I'm getting that you need need to rest. Four of Swords. You know you've got a lot going on in your head at the moment, and there's a lot of you know erratic behaviour here behind the scenes, and you're you're just trying to get peace of mind now. Don't be surprised if you don't get a sudden message. And I'm kind of getting the curiosity factor. This person certainly does like you. So whether, you know, this is a marriage and you is living with this person or whether there's a difference, I'm kind of picking up the same sort of scenario here. This person wants everything on their terms. But... You know, you gave your life and put it on hold in the past. Everything was okay in this to begin with, but it's like this person has got a split personality. And I feel now, I'm picking up in England, we have a saying, you know, the worm that turns. And it, what it means is somebody who was very timid in the past and was controlled is now standing up for themselves and fighting back. Because... You're realising that it's the only way you're going to get any kind of respect. But you're very, very tired. You could have even blocked this person, you know, on social media. But I'm getting this person will try and contact you one way or the other and they can always write a letter, even if you blocked them on social media, WhatsApp, Facebook, etc., you know, they can always physically write a letter. But I am getting this want to try again. But I feel you need time out to seriously think about this because, you know, there's too much influence here of multiple attempts to put it right. You gave this person multiple chances and it's kind of like, you know, you've heard it all before. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye for now.